Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out our latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11. And I'll leave the video I posted on this update, KB5040527, down below and in the end screen. And just a quick video to give you a heads up that if you are still running version 22H2 of Windows 11, and you didn't see this update, and the reason for that is because the previous month's optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11, which rolled out on the 25th, 26th of June, um, depending on your region, KB5039302, was the last optional update that rolled out for version 22H2 Home and Pro editions of Windows 11. So that's the reason you would have not seen this update in case you're wondering why. Now... As I've mentioned in a previous video where I gave you a 90-day reminder, and that video will also be linked down below in the end screen, Home and Pro editions of Windows 11 version 22H2, according to Microsoft, will reach the end of service and end of support on the 8th of October this year, 2024, which will be the second Tuesday. So that's the last Patch Tuesday security updates or any quality updates you will receive for Home and Pro editions of Windows 11 22H2. And just on a side note, Microsoft say they will continue to support the Enterprise and Education editions after that date. And that's the only two editions of Windows 11 22H2 that would have seen this update that rolled out um, last week, 5040527. So if you are on Home and Pro, this update that rolled out at the end of June was your last optional update. So going forward now, um, Home and Pro editions will only receive security updates and they will not receive non-security preview updates. So as always, Microsoft says to continue receiving security and non-security updates after the 8th of October this year, they obviously are recommending that you update to the latest version of Windows, which is version 23H2. And I posted a video a couple of days ago that Microsoft had said that version 23H2 is now broadly available to all users and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen and for whatever reason if you don't know what version of Windows 11 you are running you can always head to your search enter WinVer which takes you over to the about Windows a menu and dialog and yeah you'll see version and I'm running 23H2 and obviously if you are on version 22H2, you need to start making a plan. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.